Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Generator Framework Beginners Tutorial and this is our part 6. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about how can we pass parameters to our view file. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Code Generator Framework Tutorial. So basically so far guys, we had discussed about writing parameters in URL. So back to editor. Now, in our previous part, this is the section that we have actually discussed in great detail and also we have learned about loading multiple views. So if you want to actually download the codes, what we have done so far, just read the GitHub repository and inside this commit section, four times we have committed the code and these all codes you can download by either cloning or download zip fo folder from here. Now inside this video, we are going to pass some of the parameters from our controller to our view file. So if I open any of the controller file, so far we have made about site controller. So back to our controllers folder. Inside this folder, this is our site.php. Now inside this file, as we can find that multiple views file, we have attached something called our site about and inside index method, there are several views as a separate part we have made. Now we are going to make a new method for our passing parameters. So let's say that public function and I'm going to make the method name as variable and inside that method or instead of let's say that pass where this is only a method name. Now inside this method I'm going to load our view first so this dot load view and inside this view so let's say that pass underscore variable so now this is our view file so I'm going to copy this name go inside our views folder inside this views folder I'm going to make that file either inside this view folder or inside this site folder so I'm going to create inside this site folder so clicking on that now this is pass variable dot php file now inside this file let's say that I'm going to make a div and inside this div let's say that within h1 tag or h3 tag welcome to code igniter and if I write here suppose in p tag let's say that develop by and here I'm going to pass the name of the develop okay so this is the dynamic value which we are going to pass from this controller and also let's say that here so let's say that paragraph inside this paragraph I'm going to pass some informations so first of all let's say that author name okay this name also should be dynamic and also let's say author email this value also we will pass from our controller so our main concern is that how can we receive the values from inside this view file from this controller so back to controller method and now first of all we have to set a route for this method to get access from the web browser so let's say that route inside this route let's say site and site and I'm going to make it as a variable and inside that we are going to call site controller inside controller we have the method name as the password so copy the method name and I'm going to pass it here so save this file and also I'm going to save this view file back to browser and let's say that I'm going to call something called variable. So before that, we need to attach index.php, controller name, and finally we have to write variable. And we have an error. So back here, and I think that we have made this view file inside site folder. So we have to take it as, and reload this page. And now this is welcome to Coordinator, developed by, and here we have to pass the organization name, and all the informations like author name and the author email so how can we pass that back to editor now firstly there are multiple ways actually by going through that we will pass some values we will pass our values to this view file so the first way I am asking about or I am talking about the various formats of array basically we are going to pass our values inside this a array format means we have to pass a variable which is basically a of array type but inside that array we have multiple formats to store data so first of all I'm going to make a data so let's say that info array and basically it should be an array inside this array I'm going to store the let's say that organization name 
so this should be organization name and something we have value called online web tutor and finally we have let's author name and the email address we have something email info or email and this email should be online web tutor hub at gmail.com so these are the informations guys actually we are going to pass inside our view file so I'm going to copy this array name and passed inside this view file calling and here it is called info array this info array contains all the information right here what we have passed so let's say that I'm going to use this organization name copy that variable name go inside pass variables and instead of this name I'm going to write as PHP and let's say that echo and this is our organization name this is treated as a variable name but this variable name we have passed as the key name or inside this info array so if I save all these files back to our browser reload this page and now as we can see that developed by online web tutor this is the value that we have passed from our controller now rest informations we are going to access that so author name let's say that this should be something author name so echo this should be the variable again inside here so let's say email address so echo and I think the variable name is something email so copy that and I'm going to pasting it here so finally we have made all the values dynamically which is controlled by our controller values so if I save this file back here reload this page and as we can see that author name is Sanjay Kumar and the author email is what we have of the organization so this is the first way guys by the help of that actually we have passed our values to this view file the next two methods are of the same type of array type but we are going to actually make some different format of this array so if I comment all these codes first and let's say that info array basically this is the array so info array and inside this info array I'm going to make as a key something called organization name so copy this key and pasting it here and this is online web tutors I'm going to copy and pasting it here so this is the first value we have stored again make it as info array and this time the key name is author name and we have to copy this name and pasting it here again inside the third key inside this info array I'm going to store this email address so let's email and this is the value that we are going to use so copy that and finally pasting it here so finally we have made three different keys in three different indexes of info array and finally we have passed inside this view file so if I save this file back here reload this page and as we can see that all the informations have unchanged so this is the second way how can we store the values in the different different indexes of this info array so this is our second alternative way alternative array format so if I copy now let's start about the third way so if I get rid of all these things or if I make another line comment this line and inside of info array instead of that I'm going to pass directly our array inside the second parameter of this view function so I'm going to copy this all necessary things copy these values and instead of this array I'm going to pass it here so if I save this file back to browser reload this page and we have the same value what we have in our previous ways so back to editor now these are the ways guys by the help of that actually we have passed our values from controller to our view file now if I make uncomment of all these lines like header site index and the footer file and let me comment this line back here and I'm going to directly call our let's that remove these all things and welcome to online web tutor all the code developed by online web tutor so back to editor now if I open all these files so inside include folder we have our header.php inside site folder so if I close pass variable now inside site folder we have site index so open this file and also in inside include we have called footer file so all these basic informations basically coming from this header site index and the footer file now let's say that we are going to make all these things dynamic means we are going to pass this value from the controller so how can we pass that back to our site controller so I'm going to make an array and let's say that this should be info array again 
inside this info array I'm going to pass some value so let's say that name and something I'm going to use something called its online web tutor and email something email and let's say that online web tutor at gmail.com and finally the author something let's say author So finally all these values, so let's say info array, I am going to pass inside this header file because we are going to use this value as the dynamic value right here. So let's say that info array and I am going to use all these keys inside this file. So instead of that let's say echo name, this is the name we are getting from the controller and if I copy and paste this line and just remove all these things. And let's say that email what we have passed inside email variable so let's echo and this is our email value so if I save all these files back here reload this page now as we can see that this is the email address we have passed and this is the name that we have actually supplied from controller to view again back to editor now I am going to comment all these lines let's say that this is header, footer and the site index file and uncommenting this home page view. So if I open home page which is basically at the root of view file folder. So now inside this view file as we can see that three different views we have attached. But suppose if you want to receive any values inside this header other. So if I open let's say footer other file and we want to receive this value as dynamic from the controller. So how can we receive that? Be because this is our nesting chain of views files. Firstly, the site controller is calling this is home page and now home page is calling itself a view file called footer other. So how can we pass the nesting values to this footer file? So for that, back to site.php and I'm going to pass info array inside this second parameter and we have successfully received inside home page. So back here and again I'm going to receive all these values inside footer the so either we can pass the same values what we have inside something less than name, email and author because all these keys are treated as a variable name inside this home page page. So let's say that I'm going to make an array inside this array I'm going to store as name what we actually receive from this site controller. So this is name and let's say that email footer I'm going to change the name and this should be email. All these name and email are coming from here inside this info array. So successfully now we can receive all these value inside footer the file. So back here and let's say that instead of this static value if I make it as dynamic so let's say name. So if I save that and also if I remove all these things and let's say email and the value inside we have something email footer so copy this key name and pasting it here so echo and this is the variable name so if I save all these files back here reload this page now as we can see that the output will remain same so inside this video guys we have studied about the different different types of passing our values from controller to our view file it is same as one type of array but the array of different formats actually we have passed something here something as the here and something we have directly array format inside this view file call so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day